All right, today it's time to change the anodes of the engine. It's been already 122 hours and it's showing that it needs to be replaced already. And the manual says that it needs to be done in 100 hours. So I'm right around that mark to change the anodes. So I'll show you where they are and how easy it is to change. And you can tell it needs to be changed already. You can see all the openings here, all the wear on the anode. And it's supposed to look just like this. See how nice and smooth that one is? And if you start seeing here, you can see all that wear right there. Look at that. It's eating right through the anode. So definitely the anode is time to be changed. Now the other anode, which is this one right here, you can see right here is very worn out. You can start seeing indentations right there. So it still has some life on it, but since I'm always sleeping in the Bahamas and the boat is in the water for days at a time, I really would like to have this anode changed. So I'm gonna change this one, it's really easy to do. And I'm gonna show you how to change this other one. Very easy and simple to do. First, let's start with this one. Very important, keep in mind, up here, there's a little arrow and you need to place this anode right where that arrow is. It all depends on your engine, if it's right turn or left turn on the uh, propeller. So right now this one is right turn and it's right here to the right. And here's where you remove it. You just pull this forward here, this cap, and there's a bolt in there. All right. All right, there it is. The whole anode up here is really good conditions, but here, the water's hitting right here with a lot of force and the anode is doing its work right here. So, and this is exactly the same part. All right, so this anode is already installed. Looks really good. I'm just gonna put the cap on and I'm gonna move to the one back here. All right, so this one has four bolts and there's another ground cable attached right here. So we can't forget to attach that cable back there. All right, so it looks like this one still has a little bit more life, but since the manual race is 100 hours, so to be on the safe side, they're not that expensive. And since they're not that expensive, the new ones will do a better job on protecting the engine. All right, so now the engine has two brand new anodes. So definitely it's going to protect the engine better. In the description below, I'll place the link of these two anodes that I use for this engine. And if you found this video helpful, please thumb it up. Thank you for watching. Navigate safe.